Right, so I have for you reviews for two Jack Reacher novels. Uh, first up, it's book number six, which is Without Foul. Now, I enjoyed Without Foul just as much as I've enjoyed any other Jack Reacher novel. It easily had as much going for it. Um, a quick bit on the story then. A Secret Service agent wants Reacher to find holes in her plan. What is her plan? To help save the Vice President from being assassinated. They know somebody's going to try and assassinate him. So she's been tasked with working out a foolproof security procedure to keep him safe. And they essentially want Jack Reacher to try and see if he could get past it and given a chance assassinate him so that when it comes to the real people trying to assassinate him they can find ways to try and stop it did that sense make did that sense make sentence i mean <laughs> that certainly didn't did that sentence make sense because as i was saying it sounded a bit confusing but hopefully you did get what i mean if not just uh, get the plot synopsis oh i think that's the first time i've ever said that word successfully i'm sure you can find it online but anyway yeah this is the uh, sixth book and as I say, I really enjoyed it just as much as any other novel. Uh, it's got a lot going for it. Um, Neagley is back, which is it's really good to have a recurring character. Her and Jack are becoming quite the team. By this point, I've read quite a few. Where, uh, well, the uh, second one I've read where she's in it. And I don't know if she comes back in further books. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. Um, we st she's still a mysterious character, I guess, to a certain degree, much like Jack himself. However, she's got even less um, even less backstory provided. Uh, at least Jack Reacher does get his backstory as the novels go on. But that adds to the intrigue, I guess. And um, we do notice as a recurring theme that she doesn't like to be touched. She has a problem with... Uh, physical contact and it's quite interesting is that uh, subject is approached uh, when she's commenting on how uh, Jack Reacher you know he's a bit of a one character you know most books there's a woman involved somehow there is a woman involved in this one and uh, Neely approaches the subject of why he never kind of uh, best way to put it tried it on with her and uh, she and he basically says well it's because he respects that she has a trouble with physical contact and that kind of thing and he's been respectful towards it um so that does imply though there is there was an interest down that road um yeah and speaking of uh for those who are interested in that kind of love story side of things um it is as you might even guess when you see it, it says a female secret service agent is wanting jack reacher's help it is this female who has the plan to try and keep the Vice President safe, who he falls for, but she has a connection which runs deeper because she was also the girlfriend, long term girlfriend of Jack Reacher's brother, and as the story evolves, evolve, as a story evolves, we get to find out a little bit more about Jack Reacher's brother, which is also very good, and adds even more to Jack's storylines um, and his backstory basically. So. Yeah, it's full of the twists and turns. Um, what you don't find out right until the end is why they are after the vice president. And I'm not going to give that away. The, the, but the reason for these assassination attempts on the vice president is not what I was expecting. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not. I won't give that away. But it's not. It's not the sort of reason I was expecting. But it, it does work as a motivation certainly. But it's not the typical motivation for these kind of stories, I didn't think either. Uh, which is often the case in the um, Jack Reacher stories. They're not always how they seem and what you would guess would be the motivation for the criminals or what the criminals are up to, what their end game is. They're not always too easy to guess, which is saying I really enjoy reading them. These are proper, proper page turners. So, full marks, really enjoyed that. And speaking of endings, not too easy to guess. We have the 
second book that I've just finished from Jack Creature. Now this is Make Me. This is a much more recent Jack Creature. So this story, Make Me, is the 20th Jack Reacher novel, now up to 20. Well, actually we're not because there's been a couple more books since then, and now up to 22 when a new one comes out a bit more on that later. But yeah, this this is book 20. So this one only came out a couple of years ago. I think off the top of my head it was not the Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before because Mr. Lee's Child roughly writes the books at least one a year, I think, in general. So... That would probably work out about right in the timeline. But yeah, this is, I really, really enjoyed this. This one I've got in a hardback. I managed to get the hardback version. Always nice to get the hardbacks as well as the softbacks if you can. Because I'm somebody who um, gets the books to collect them as much to read. And don't get me wrong, first and foremost, it's about reading them and enjoying them. Big reader, love a good book and all that. But if there's a different cover and I've already got the book, I, I see it, so I might, I, I, might, I might still buy it, you know, just to collect the different covers, same as with albums, you know, it's that kind of thing. Always got that collective instinct, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I really like this one because it really highlights the whole drifter thing with Jack Reacher, you know. He doesn't have a home, he gets away with paying no rent ever because he's literally just drifts from one place to another, living out of hotels. Um, that would get very expensive, but then he is ex-army and um, my understanding is he has an ongoing payment from here for his services, um, but he does he doesn't uh, seem to ever carry money around with him. He just usually has to get it out when he needs it when he starts one of his adventures. But anyway, so yeah, here he is drifting as normal, and he decides to get off somewhere randomly, basically, um, off the train. He gets off a stop at this place called Mother's Rest and he wants to know why is this place called Mother's Rest which is fair enough really because it's quite a distinctive name for a place Mother's Rest and that question keeps on getting asked throughout the book as he tries to get to the bottom of why it's called Mother's Rest and well whether you actually find that out I won't give it away but this place he has decided to get off the stop he's decided to get off on uh, it, perhaps that was kind of fate because he ends up finding there's a problem with this town. The problem is the amount of people who are going missing and winding up dead. Now, there's uh, another agent, a Michelle Chang, who he ends up working with. Oh, yes, another lady. Yes, this is so Bond, I know. Um, and yes, they do. They do. Uh, I'm trying to think of the Bondy way, Bond escape way to put it, but they. Um, do have uh, fun in between their uh, investigating. Yeah, that was a very light way of pointing it. Um, I don't know why we were uh, beating around the bush so much. Maybe that would have been better. No, I'll stop now. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, um, they anyway. It is another one of these female Guan Congress, basically, and that does happen. But um, her character is very likable and works really well. Uh, she is trying to find out where one of where one of her fellow agents has got to after he was investigating Mother's Rest and Jack Reacher ends up managing to help her with this uh, and they basically try and work out why so many people are disappearing from this place. Now, the, what the criminals are up to and why these people from this small town are disappearing really was not what I was guessing. I mean, I had some ideas and I was completely off track and I'd be interested to know if anyone else was when they were trying to work out what is going on. But I was nowhere near close to thinking what it actually is. It took me by surprise. It was revealed in the last few pages what is actually going on, as it so often is in Jack Reacher novels. Um, I thought it was a really good twist and I wasn't expecting it. Um, there's plenty of action in this one. And in Without Foul... There was a nice amount of action as well, but it wasn't about the action so much. It was more in the last few pages. It was more about the sort of planning and the practicing uh, to get to get the to stop the assassination attempt, which which is brilliant. It that worked very well. You don't have to have action on every single page. However, this one's probably got a bit more action in, like more like action scenes, but no, still equally brilliant. Um, very very good. Um. 
uh, and Lee told in both books it was such a good way with words you know some people might sort of take these as simple thrillers and yeah um, in a way they certainly are the sort of um, page turning thriller you know that is about keeping you guessing and and that kind of thing but the characters are engaging enough as well and the storylines are not linear they are always got some good little twists and turns in them and yeah very well written there's some really good sentences you could pick out uh, that do show some very nice lines indeed that do help make the reading experience more and more easy but yeah you'll likely polish one of these in a couple of days even one day sometimes if you've got the spare time because they're addictive and yeah great to read so make me is absolutely brilliant also like generally you know if it wasn't brilliant i wouldn't say but in my opinion for this these type of thrillers they really are the child is really one of the best who's currently in the thriller game he is excellent so yeah both highly recommended if you haven't read them now a bit on the next jack creature The next Jack Reacher novel is going to be called The Midnight Line. It's not going to be released until November the 7th worldwide. This one's got a worldwide release at the same day, which is good. Because I think sometimes it comes out first in America before UK. Um, Mr. Child now lives in America, but I do believe he was born in the UK. So, um, perhaps that's why for the little differences in dates, I don't know as he releases in both countries but obviously this one's got a worldwide release so that's pretty good um, everywhere 7th of November so uh, I can't wait to see to get this one I'm just seeing if I can find any information on what it's actually about uh, have we got any plots? ah oh, yes we do um, Reacher takes an aimless stroll past a pawn shop in a small midwestern town uh, that's pawn P-A-W-N because uh, I don't know what some people like in the window, he sees a West Point glass ring from 2005. It's tiny, a woman cad its graduation present to herself. Why, why would she give it up? Reach is a West Pointer too, and he knows what she went through to get it. Reach attracts the ring back to its owner, step by step, down a criminal trail leading west. Like Bigfoot came out of the forest, he arrives in a deserted world of Wyoming. All he wants is to find the woman. If she's okay, he will quit. If she's not, he'll stop at nothing. He's still shaken, but not stirred, I added that bit, by the recent horrors of Make Me, and now the midnight line sees him set on a raw and elemental quest for simple justice. But the best advice, don't get in his way. So that's the plot line. This is what I love about the Jack Reach and was just from something simple like this ring, this ring that he spotted in the shop will lead to all sorts of criminal activity, conspiracy, plot to bring down the government and whatever else. Um, but yeah, that's why they work so well. Uh, so I look forward to that. So Jack Reacher fans, put that in your diary. Available November the seventh. Uh, that's for the hardcover first. They're showing there's two uh, versions available. One with a fetching blue cover and one with a fetching the dark black cover. Um, another thing is we also have this is actually out already. Uh, the Lee Child No Middle Name series. I've not seen this in the shops. I don't think so yet. Um, but it has only just came out on the 16th and in the US, Canada, and 18th in the UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. So it's Lee Child No Middle Name, and it's a collection of all the short stories from the Jack Reacher universe that Lee Child has written. So they're the ones that sometimes appeared as digital exclusives. They could have been in magazines and uh, some anthologies. So they that were, were they they will be well worth checking out. I've never read any of the short stories, but they probably add a little bit more to the story. It says it lets you know what Jack Reacher was up to during the main books, which is a good idea, I think. So yeah, look out for that. That is the no middle name. And yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'll be on to the next book. Um, so I'm not yet sure which one I'm going to go with, but I'll be reading some more Jack Reachers very soon. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favourite Jack Reacher is, or if you haven't read them, um, can I convince you to give them a go? Because they're well worth it. And I will see you again soon.